Hey, good morning, gang. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, let's talk about morning rituals and uh, kind of what Lance D does out here to get ready for his work day on Okinawa. But uh, I typically start out at 5 a.m. with a little workout, <clears throat> and uh, that that usually starts with a run, no matter what day it is. I ran Sunday through Thursday this week. Today's Friday, so I slept in today. I'm going to take the day off. I think the old getaway sticks need it <clears throat> but uh but uh, a run push-ups pull-ups maybe a some lightweight workout and uh maybe some squats and uh i usually head back to the house right around six i i usually look at my workout uh time as being from like five to six thirty because if i don't get it in that early before work starts it, it just ain't happening uh, throughout the rest of the day because uh, one thing leads to another at work and then you get tied up and, and you can't get it in for the day but um, <clears throat> I think it's important to start the day with a little bit of a stretch right uh, go for a walk go for a run get after it and sweat a little bit uh, because I think with physical fitness comes mental clarity and uh, I find that for me uh, what works for me is I just I don't have that mental clarity if I don't get a workout in in the morning uh, unless it's like today, I feel great today because I think I slept nine hours last night. But uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's a bit of a break from the norm uh, because I typically only get uh, between six and seven hours of sleep every night. But uh, following that run, I make my bed. That's very simple. It's something that's super easy to do. Um, who was that? Admiral McRaven or somebody that <clears throat> made that famous speech about just making your bed. It's all over YouTube. You can find it. But. Uh, there's some there's some truth to that if you make your bed if you get up and work out that's one thing you've done uh, you make your bed that's two things you've done and then that just kind of sets you on a on a pace for the day to to just get good things done uh, yeah positivity forward motion moving and grooving if you will but uh yeah a run a workout <clears throat> make the bed uh, shower shave and then it's coffee time right i'll put some coffee on and uh, I religiously have a banana every single morning. Uh, usually, usually I have my coffee on the way to work, and then I get my banana when I'm when I'm at work. But uh, get my banana. That sounds weird. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, that's my morning ritual. And uh, what do you guys think about that? And what are some what are some daily rituals you have? I don't know. Uh, even with retirement getting closer. Uh, roughly two years and change out maybe yeah maybe right around two years but uh yeah I, I think I'll maintain that even in retirement I think that's a good routine to have <clears throat> get up and sweat make the bed make coffee shower shave get your day rolling but uh yeah if you wake up and do none of that and you just get to work and the first adversity that you've faced for the day is someone hitting you with something at work like hey I need this or hey I need that I, I don't know I think you failed for the day but uh and then that's just gonna set the tone for a for a yeah I don't know a negative overall day but anyway I'm rambling that's me on morning uh rituals I am headed to work it's about 7 30 here on Okinawa traffic sucks <clears throat> but uh should get there right around zero eight and uh, it's Friday. We've got it going away for a, for a Marine, a fellow Bellow Woodsman today. So we're going to get out a little bit early and go to that. And uh, yeah, what else is shaking? Um, it's been ages since I've posted anything. I think it's been two and a half, maybe two weeks, two, two and a half, between two and three weeks since uh, my buddy Bob and I did that uh, retirement chat collaboration down at Beer Rise in Tsunabe. That seems like it was ages ago, and I just, I've been busy. The watch has been gone. Um, I'll go over to see her early next month, and then we'll come back after Sunkron or Thai New Year. But, uh, you know, hop on the old expressway. <clears throat> but I haven't really gotten out and gotten any footage lately. I've just been so tied up with... Hi. <clears throat> with uh, keeping things rolling at the house, food prepping, cleaning, yeah, just a daily rinse and repeat. But uh, I did go down to uh, Chaton Harbor, and there was a festival down there last weekend. So I'll uh, maybe I'll take this and I'll stream in some string in some footage from that. It wasn't 
really all that interesting. I thought it was going to be, <clears throat> but uh, I guess it was on a Saturday. I was driving down to the supermarket there in Sunabe, and I saw some Asa performances going on, and I was like, oh, you know what? Some food trucks. I was like, this is going to be a good video. I'll come down here and check it out maybe tomorrow because I was running out of time for the day. Um, I went back on Sunday. There was no ASA performances going on, unless it happened either before or after I got there. But I didn't see it. But there were still food trucks. Uh, I had a little bit of food. Had a cold Orion or two, and then I just walked back to the house before sundown. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, overall, I didn't think it was that interesting of a video, so I'll probably just take snippets of that and, and put it in with this one. But, uh, yeah. I'll get out of your ear hole and uh, get on to work. And maybe I'll put out another one this weekend. We'll go for a two for this weekend, I think. I, I, didn't, I didn't put any videos out for the last two weeks or so. So uh, maybe I'll double up and find something good to get into tomorrow or the next day. All right. Out of you here. We'll see you. Y'all have a good one. How goes that one? Kinky desk. Kinky desk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, all right, we found us a chicken pie. Got a cold Orion. I think we're good. There's worse views. Mm. Can't go wrong with the chicken pie. It's basic, not too messy. Mm. I'm gonna sit here and snack on this, and then uh. Stroll across to the other side. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back. It is Sunday fun day here in Okinawa. About to take off on a stroll, get a few miles in, and uh, head back to the house, change over, go down to the commissary, and grab some rice because we ran out last night. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you might have seen the little meal we cooked up last night, but. Uh, but yeah, again, Sunday fun day. I was down at the store yesterday in Chatan at the San A and at the Chatan Fish Arena. I noticed there's a little festival going on. Um, so I don't know if that's going on all weekend, but I'm going to walk down there later to see if they're still doing it today and we'll, we'll check it out. I'll take you along. But uh looked like a good time. looked like there was some Isa going on. Uh, so music, food, maybe some brews. We'll see what's down there later on. Uh, maybe nothing. I don't know if they're still doing it today. Anyway, I'm going to get these miles in real quick. It's about uh, 9 in the morning. Woke up a little late. Had a few beers last night, but uh, let's get up and get after it. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. All right, back at the house. Just got a good stretch in after that run. Uh, went just over four and a half miles. I cut it short before I hit the hills over here near the house because I just didn't want to mess up my good sub-8s average on those miles. But uh, going to get my coffee fix in a little bit. Uh, yep. Shave my nasty face, hop in the shower, or do those in the opposite order, and then I'm going to head to the commissary. See you in a bit. Heading over to the commissary right now and uh, just passed by the Camp Foster flea market and they they do these flea markets on the bases almost every weekend and they I think they're on like a rotational basis to where one weekend Camp Foster will have it and then the next weekend they might have it on Camp Courtney uh, and then the next weekend maybe it's on Camp Kinzer I don't know if Kinzer has one but uh, but yeah it was pretty popular it was full of people full parking lot um we did it one time and i think we'll do it another few times as we get closer to retirement just to get rid of things you know you just throw a few tables worth of clothes out there for 100 yen a piece or each article of clothing or whatever and it goes pretty quick people pick through it and then whatever you have left over we usually just take and donate at a um cadena's uh, thrift store or Foster's, but Foster's kind of got some weird hours. 
Anyway, about to pull on base and hit the commissary, and then uh, we'll get back on the ground. Hopefully it's not too busy over here. I do like Foster's commissary a little better than Kadena. Hey, what's up, Moss? Hi, I got the Gozai Mashta. Thank you. But yeah, more of a fan of uh, the commissary over here at Foster. It's it may be a little bit smaller than the one at Kadena, but there's less people in it usually. I, I can't deal with the crowds sometimes on Kadena. It's ridiculous, uh, and then it's it's an absolute creature feature when you go in there and people are walking around in pajamas or half naked. It's, Ridiculous, but anyway, I don't know how. I don't know how Americans get out of the house like that. When did pajamas become a norm? Um, for like regular ass clothing, like don't don't leave the house like that. Yeah. I'll shut up before I get off on a tangent. I'll be talking about grown men wearing joggers like little boys. God knows what else. But anyway, we're at the commissary. See you in a bit. In all her glory, the Camp Foster Commissary. So one of the things that you won't find out in town is Thai jasmine rice. Or if you can, we haven't yet, so yeah. Better to come to the commissary. You guys ever tried this Ben and Jerry's fish food? I am a fat kid at heart, and I think this is the best ice cream there is. We put our rice in five gallon buckets. Do you guys do that where you're at? I need. Kao chow. Noon. Kao niao. Let's see some lights up here. So, looks like they're still doing it today. We'll get up here and pop through the gate and see what's happening. Oh, this guy's practicing on his sunsheen over here. people down here so this might have been a good idea right off the bat as soon as you walk in We got to the end. Wanted to pop over here and look at the, the water. Uh, gonna stroll back through and see what's on the other side. And uh, if nothing here really catches my eye to, to snack on, we may wander over to the other side to where uh, Chaton Harbor Brewery's at. But uh, yeah. All right, we found us a chicken pie. Got a cold Orion. I think we're good. Just worse views. I think this side looks like more of the same uh, without the stage act. 
but again like I said last time I recorded that it got flagged for being copyrighted so let's stroll through this side though can't hurt Good, how are you doing? Hello, can you see why? So we got pizza, tacos. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That last place looked really good. So this is where we just were, over here. This is about where I finished my run this morning. Uh, we saw these guys getting set up. I'm gonna hate it if the Issa music kicks off while I'm way over here, but, but again, I didn't see the performers over there, so. This place is a good escape on a morning run. You come down here and get your water therapy. Hear the waves crashing. Relieve some stress. Do some push-ups down here on the corner. So the brewery's got its own boat there. Maybe more than one. They may have two or three, but uh, they will take you out on that, and I think you can do dinner on it. A little dinner cruise. Speak of the devil, here's a Chatan Harbor boat coming in right now. Yeah, taking the boat out looks like a good time. I, I think that's something we'll look into in the future. Pretty dead down here. I'm gonna sit down and finish this brew. And uh, maybe I'll stroll back over that way and go to that end of the seawall, Tsunabe. 
for sunset. We've still got two hours yet though. Oh, nothing but time. <clears throat> so rumor has it Earth Village is a Kaya here. The new seawall has beer Leo. It's a Thai beer for those of you that are unfamiliar. But uh they weren't open. They don't open for another 45 minutes. So I think I'm going to stroll back over to the other side. All right. Well, it turns out the Asa was a bust, unless they're going to get after it later on. But uh, it's a little after 5 o'clock. I'm just going to head back up to the house in Chaton. Uh, Glad I came back over this way though, bumped into my buddy Kyle that I haven't seen in ages. Uh, we used to work together and he's about to get out, but uh, you know, super jealous. Kind of. But uh, yep, gonna pop across to 58 and then back up to the house and uh, might just close this one out guys. I hope you enjoyed the stroll through the uh, festival over here. I'll see you guys in the next one.